Welcome to the garden. Gather around the fire and listen to the ancient story of God's love. We start in God's perfect garden. Adam and Eve disobeyed God and committed the first sin, and the world has been plagued by sin ever since. Yet God loved his people and promised to send a savior who would rescue them. The people of the world, through years of war and strife, became desperate for God's peace and love. The promise of a savior remained. Isaiah wrote, The people who walked in darkness have seen a great light. Those who dwelt in the land of deep darkness, on them has light shined. For to us a child is born, to us a son is given. And the government shall be upon his shoulder, and his name shall be called Wonderful, Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. These words of God's promise gave them hope in dark times. From the words of the prophets, it was proclaimed the Savior would be born of a virgin in the town of Bethlehem. Now please proceed to the shepherd's field on the outskirts of Bethlehem. It was an extraordinary night for the shepherds. First, the sky lit up the middle of the night, and it was brighter than noonday and full of heavenly light. They were so afraid and fell to the ground trembling. An angel appeared and announced, Fear not, for behold, I bring you good news of great joy that will be for all the people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, who is Christ the Lord, and this will be a sign to you. You will find a baby wrapped in swaddling clothes and lying in a manger. That night, the shepherds chose to receive God's great good news of the Savior's birth. The Savior had been born. God kept his promise to save us. We heard them shouting, let's go to Bethlehem and see this thing that the Lord has made known to us. They traveled to Bethlehem to see the child who fulfills the Lord's ancient promise. Thank you, shepherds. Come, let us make our way to the stable at Bethlehem. This small town of Bethlehem is the birthplace of the great King David, and now is the birthplace of Jesus. The Roman government ordered everyone from King David's family to travel to Bethlehem to be counted. The town was crowded that night. For Mary and Joseph, there was nowhere to stay except the stable. The angel told the shepherds to look for Jesus wrapped in cloths and lying in a manger. If you look above, you can see the glimmer of a bright star. This stable is the birthplace of our Savior. His mother Mary and his father Joseph joyfully cradle this child who fulfills God's promise to his people. God wrote of this promise in 316. For God so loved the world that he gave his only Son, that whoever believes in him should not perish, but have eternal life. His name was Jesus because he would save the people from their sins. He would sacrifice his life for us on the cross and rise again on Easter morning to bring us eternal life. This good news was meant for all the world and people of all nations. Wise men from the East were led by a star to worship the Savior King. They brought regal gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. These men rejoiced because they had found their Savior. Our journey has led us to God's love and salvation. Tonight, it is our turn to thank God for our Savior Jesus and to spread the good news to others. I invite you to take this moment and say a silent prayer to God, thanking Him for the gift of our Savior Jesus.
Thank you, God, for sending your son Jesus to save us. Like the star that guided the wise men on the night of Jesus' birth, guide each of us through darkness and uncertainty so that we may not be afraid, but know that you love us and have sent us a Savior in your Son. Let us never forget to follow the light of Jesus. Help us believe and trust in him and share this good news with others. Amen.